Hello, welcome to the Department of Bioinformatics and Computational Biology. In this lab, we will examine that how to use the NCBI databases for your genomic research. After completing this lab session, you will be able to locate and use the main databases at NCBI resources and you will be also able to retrieve data using gene name, accession number, or disease names. The NCBI, National Center for Biotechnology Information, provide access for several databases with biochemical and genetic information as well as bioinformatics tools. So, Let's start on the main NCBI website. To get there, open your browser and type the NCBI address as you can see here. So this is the main interface of NCBI homepage. From NCBI homepage, we can get any information of any sequence. It can be nucleotide are protein sequence of any organism like human, animal or it can be microorganism. The main NCBI homepage on the left side of the homepage you will find a detailed list of resources that you have to access. On the right side of the main page some most popular resources are listed such as BLAST or PubMed. In the center of the page, you find information about how to submit or download data. In case you are interested in specific gene or protein, you need to use this search box. To the left of this search box, there is a drop down menu with a list of all databases that are available for your search. Okay, so now the main topic that how to retrieve a nucleotide or protein sequence from NCBI database. In this tutorial, tutorial we will find a nucleotide sequence of TP53 gene and will also download this sequence. So from drop down menu you have to select nucleotide as we are retrieving a nucleotide sequence in this session so enter the name of organism or any gene that you want to find out like if you want to retrieve sequence of human t53 gene just write tp53 in search box and click on this search button it will take few seconds to find out the information. So here is the output. The resulting list include all the records that match your search input in the selected database. Note that this result session sections includes partial sequences too. For your research, you need to search for complete sequences from the list. It might take a while to look through all the result until you find the right one as per your research. But here our aim is to retrieve and download the sequence. So click on the first one that TP53 exon 5 to retrieve the sequence. So here is the output of TP53 gene sequence for exon 5 part of human. So you can see that this give a complete information about the gene. That means it tell you about organisms, its accession number, depositor detail, and if the paper is published, what is the title of the papers, in which journal it has been published, many more too. This locus part, this one, tell you about the accession number, then this gene consists of 123 base pair nucleotides, nucleotide base pair and also it is a linear one. 
so here is another atom that is version so whenever we submit a sequence later if we find there is a something incorrect or we want to update that sequence then the version are created so this is the first version so you can see after the accession number it is written dot one so mean this is the first version that sequence has been submitted or it has not been yet updated so there are different method to copy or download the sequence the most easiest one is to click on this fasta here we get a sequence format in fasta format you can copy this sequence or paste anywhere if you want but in case if you want to download this sequence you can uh, also download this sequence for download you need to click on this send to button so here from the drop down menu select coding sequences and choose fasta nucleotide as we are going to download the uh, nucleotide in fasta format so click on the fasta nucleotide and then click on the create file you can also download a protein sequence in fasta format too in this case you need to choose fasta protein so create click on create files so here your sequence will be download for uh, download you can see your browser download sections so this is how we can download any gene protein sequence from ncbi and then we can use for any research purpose